Hello, uh, I am Dr. Pramod. I am an interventional cardiologist at Fortis Hospital, Shalimar Bar. Today we are going to talk a, a little about advanced pacemaker systems. Uh, I am sure you all will be aware that pacemakers have been around for a very, very long time, more than four decades now, and they have saved millions of lives. Basically, their use was to make sure that the person's heart rate doesn't go down below a set limit. Because if it goes below a set limit, then the person can actually have a lot of problems, can even die. In recent time, about I would say about two decades back, we started having newer concepts of pacemaker, which were used basically in patients who have poor heart function. That poor heart function may be as a consequence of heart attack or as a consequence of a muscle disease known as cardiomyopathy. Now once a patient's heart function goes down, now these patients can have problems like they can have a very fast heart rate which can lead to death or the heart function gradually goes down again leading to worsening of heart failure and death. Some of these patients who have poor heart function also have an ECG abnormality known as left bundle branch block. It was seen that if you correct that left bundle branch block with a pacemaker, then the patient's heart function improves and the threat to his or her life comes down. Now this advanced pacemaker technique is known as biventricular pacing or CRT that is cardiac resynchronization therapy. What we do here is that I'm sure you're also aware that heart has four chambers two on the upper side and two on the lower side. Now what happens in these patients is that those who have left bundle branch block is that the two parts of the heart do not function in a synchronous manner. So what we do is that we put three leads inside the heart, two on the right side and one goes through the right side to the left side. Now the left side lead and the right side lead are used to synchronize the two ventricles. The lower chambers are known as ventricle. So once they are synchronized, it has been seen that the heart function improves, the output from the heart improves and the death rate also comes down. So this is an advanced technique where we have to put three wires instead of the two wires which are put in the standard pacemakers. Now there are certain more new techniques which are available where you don't have to go to the left side of the heart. But what you do in such cases is what is known as his bundle pacing or left bundle pacing where you go into the middle wall, we insert the lead into that and that is known as either his bundle pacing or left bundle pacing, which also leads to improvement in the heart function. Now this is a kind of a new technique and it needs to be further studied. For the time being, the standard technique continues to be the CRT. Now the another advanced pacemaker technique is what we call an AICD, which is implantable cardioverter defibrillator. And as I was telling you that some of these patients can have a very fast heart rate known as ventricular tachycardia, which can degenerate into another fatal uh, rhythm known as ventricular fibrillation. And if these uh, arrhythmias are not corrected within minutes, three minutes, four minutes at the most, the person is going to die. So what we do in such cases is that we implant uh, defibrillator, you know, is a device which actually gives shock inside the heart. You must have seen the, uh, the uh, you know, the what we call external defibrillator where two pads are put over the chest and then a shock is given which terminates these fatal arrhythmias and brings life back to that person. So this device actually monitors the heart round the clock. Every single beat is monitored and whenever they detect that the heart rate is going very fast, they will detect it and then they do certain maneuvers. If it doesn't terminate, they will give a shock. If 
one shock doesn't terminate, they will give two shock, three shock. So there, there is a limit which is set in every device. Again, this is a device which has saved thousands and thousands of people all over the world. It's a very effective device. And we put in all patients who have poor heart function, but otherwise are, you know, we, we make sure that their survival is more than a year. They don't have comorbid conditions. And the anticipation is that they will certainly survive for more than a year. These are the patients who we put this device. And the other one was CRT. These, these two have actually revolutionized the management of patients who have poor heart function or are in heart failure. Some of these patients will actually have complete reversal of their, you know, the inadequacy of their heart function and they will come back to normal. So these are the newer techniques which have, uh, which have very big use in management of patients with poor heart function beyond the scope of the medicines that we use. There are newer medicines also available, but these techniques are supplementary to the medications that we have given these days. Thank you.